eight levels of operating thetans at the uh, highest level, that would be level eight, followers of Scientology have the truth revealed to them. What that truth is, uh, L. Ron Hubbard's science fiction novels are actually real, or you should go get some walking in, or vanilla is the ice cream flavor that works best in a root beer, root beer float. Nobody is exactly sure which one is the truth. But Tom Cruise is a level seven, and that means he may not be able to bend spoons with his mind, but he might be able to make a cartoon magically disappear from your TV. Our number one story in the countdown tonight, Cruise, Scientology, and South Park. In a moment, a Rolling Stone editor got a rare inside look at the religion, along with the requisite bullying that followed. First, our correspondent covering this other war of the worlds, Jennifer London. In his movies, Tom Cruise is used to battling crime lords and alien invaders, but his latest fight finds him facing off with the four foul-mouthed cartoon kids from South Park. So you're not the prophet, huh? You made me look stupid. I'm going to sue you, too. Did the controversial Cruise use his Hollywood muscle to muzzle the show? In a sudden schedule change, Comedy Central decided not to repeat an episode ridiculing Scientology and Cruz's sexuality. Dad, Tom Cruise won't come out of the closet. Cruz allegedly wanted the episode pulled or he wouldn't promote his new Paramount movie, Mission Impossible 3. The same corporation, Viacom, owns Paramount and Comedy Central. A spokesman for Cruz denies that any threats were made, saying that promotion for the new film has been going on for months. In another twist, Isaac Hayes, who played the character Chef, abruptly left the show, saying it goes too far mocking religion, including the Church of Scientology, where he and Cruz are members. A lot of people think that the fact that this episode was killed is more than just a coincidence. But I don't think there's any evidence that Tom Cruise had anything to do with this. South Park's creators, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, aren't so sure, releasing this somewhat wacky quote. So, Scientology, you may have won this battle, but the million-year war for Earth has just begun. Don't you understand, Elrond? It's me, Tom Cruise. If Cruise or anyone else was on a mission to silence the show, the Internet has made that impossible. Parts of the episode are available on Comedy Central's website. Jennifer London, NBC News, Los Angeles. All this following hard upon the departure from the show of Isaac Hayes, the voice of Chef, who happily participated as South Park lampooned every religion, and then when they got around to Scientology, he quit in protest. Janet Reitman is a contributing editor for Rolling Stone. Her article, Inside Scientology, appeared in the magazine's March 9th issue. She joins us now. Thank you for your time tonight. You're welcome. Let me start with uh, Mr. Cruz. The episode bashes him, bashes Scientology. He's on a promotional tour for a movie owned by the company that owns Comedy Central, and suddenly the rerun of the episode gets canceled, and there are people who want us to believe this is a coincidence. It, what, what is your opinion? You know, I, it's, it's kind of anyone's guess what's going on here. I don't think anybody really knows for sure, but... Um, you know, I, I would say that the Church of Scientology is very, very much into doing damage control, and this would sort of indicate an example of that. When you were writing your piece, uh, mm -hmm. is this correct? Tom Cruise actually called, and then the, his sister, yeah. who was his publicist, actually visited the offices? And yes. They pulled out of a cover? Tell me the whole story. Yes, it is. Um, I was, uh, I was just a couple of weeks into reporting this piece when uh, the church got wind of the fact that I was doing it. They had known that I was going to be working on this piece for quite a while. And Tom Cruise uh, did call our offices and talk to the editor of the magazine. Um, and that was followed several weeks uh, later by a visit to our office in New York by his sister, who was at the time his publicist, and who is a high-ranking Scientologist. Uh, and also a, a very uh, senior official of the church who spent several hours having a meeting with uh, my top editors and inquiring all about my journalistic credibility and, uh, and about what exactly we were doing, who our sources were, who we were speaking to. They were, they were quite upset that I had um, taken it upon myself to speak to people who may have left the church. Mm. Um, and that kind of thing is, you know, they, they like to control basically everything that goes on when it comes to the reporting of any story about them, I think. And so they were, they were taken aback that I was talking to people who had left the church, who were critical of the church. But they seem to move swiftly with you, but about the Isaac Hayes incident, let me play a clip from uh, Mr. Hayes on the, uh, the Opie and Anthony radio show. It was just after the original episode about Scientology aired last year. 
one thing about Matt and Trey, they lampoon everybody. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, if you take that serious, then I'll sell you the Brooklyn Bridge for two dollars. <laughs> so so he didn't take it seriously when he acted in it or when it ran as of December of last year. But when there was a rerun, boom, he quits. Scientology gets mad. Does does this religion uh, does it work that slowly? Is their TiVo backed up? Uh, do they get <laughs> They get outraged until after it gets delivered by Netflix. What was the what's the drag time? There? You know, I, I really I really couldn't tell you. I, I have a feeling that, um, and I'm I'm just speaking, uh, um, you know, my own opinion here. But I really think that the church may not have understood quite the cultural relevance that that a show like South Park has and the kind of staying power it has on the internet, um, and that might have, you know, taken them aback a little bit and, and probably you know been what took such a long time for them to to react to this, but. You know, they, um, they're, they're, they're people who, uh, you know, I just, I honestly can't tell you. I don't know why Azekez said what he said. One of the things I do know is that they, um, many members of the church, were active members, including some celebrities, wrote to Rolling Stone after my piece came out. Some of those uh, letters are going to be published in our, in our upcoming issue, which will be on the stands at the end of this week. Mm -hmm. And many of those letters had an eerie similarity to them, actually. Oh, what a surprise uh, that is. So, you know, whether or not this was Isaac Hayes making a decision, whether it was the church encouraging Isaac Hayes to make this decision, I couldn't tell you, but I know that, that I received quite a lot of emails that sounded quite similar. And, we will, and, uh, we will draw our own conclusions about that. But lastly and quickly here, sure. this statement from the producers of South Park, so Scientology, you've won this battle, but the million year war for Earth has just begun. <laughs> I'm just guessing this is not going to get a lot of laughs at Scientology HQ. No, no, no. They, they, don't, they don't take that stuff with uh, much of a grain of salt there at all. I think they take everything quite seriously. So, and you didn't see in, in, in your reporting, you never saw anything about Scientology and the jumping up and down on couches, right? That's not connected. That was just something else that has nothing to do with, with, with that has something to do with crews, but not with Scientology. I think that's what they say. Well, the, one of the things is enthusiasm ranks yeah. very high in the Scientology tone scale. So but I think they would, they saw this as a positive. Okay. Let's put it that way. They, somebody had to. Janet Reitman of Rolling Stone. Great. Thing.